Good morning. My name is Joe Peterson. I'm with C12 Business Forums here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area of Texas and North America. And wherever you are in North America or the world, I hope you're waking to a beautiful September morning. Thank you so much for being a part of this prayer. Thank you so much for starting your week with us. Um, what a week we have ahead. Uh, the, today's prayer is a prayer of rededication. It's always a prayer of surrender. It's always a prayer of asking for his will. But listen closely and just see if there's a phrase, a sentence, or a paragraph that may be written just for you. Again, thank you so much for being a part of this week after week. Let's get started. Let us pray. Oh God, Father, Yahweh, maker of heaven and earth, our creator and our redeemer. We will not go forward this morning. We will not begin our day without your blessing. We marvel at the wonder of being able to commune with you, the creator and king of the universe. Let us never take this time we have together, this time we have with you for granted. We know that it's an amazing privilege to be able to talk directly with our God and Savior. That's why we stopped our busyness. We froze our schedules. We put everything on hold and we, we gathered together this morning. We're not going to go forward in this week or continue with this beautiful September without first praising you and asking for your blessing. Please don't allow the excitement or the freshness of a new morning or the glow of good health, or the prosperity that we may be experiencing to deceive us into a false reliance on ourselves. All these great gifts and thousands more have come to us only through you, Father. These are yours to give and they are yours to take away. Lord, knowing this, we give back all these things. We give back all these blessings to you. Father God, we rededicate ourselves to your service. This morning, we rededicate all the powers of our mind and our bodies to you. We rededicate all of our worldly goods and our influence and all of our relationships to you. This morning and throughout this prayer, we rededicate all to you, Lord. All these things are yours to use at your will. All these are yours, our Christ. All these are yours, Holy Spirit. Through this rededication, we ask that you create in each of us a clean and pure heart and renew a right spirit in us. Restore the utter joy of our salvation in our minds and spirits and give us the strength this week, Lord, of a willing spirit. Speak through our words today, think through our thoughts today, and work through our deeds throughout the week ahead, Lord. We ask that you let our lives be the channel through which some portion of your divine and true love may reach the lives of those who are closest to our own. Father, as CEOs and as business organization and government leaders, we are taught and expected to take control to take charge and to take over. But you tell us to wait and to rely on you. We know you are sovereign, holy, and you are mighty to save. Please keep us from building idols in our homes and workplaces and keep us from rejoicing in the work of our own hands. We want our work to honor and to glorify you. We want you to confirm the work that we do with our hands. We want to bring you joy. Never allow us to accept our sin or disbelief. We fully rededicate our role as leaders to you, dear Lord. In your presence, Father, we remember our spouses, our families, the companies, organizations, and governments that you've called us to steward. We ask humbly for your blessing and favor for our employees, our team members, our customers, and the marketplaces in which we operate. Lord, we ask for your protection, your strengthening, and for your blessing. We ask for our leadership and the decisions that we face this week to reflect you, 
to reflect our faith in you and not in ourselves. Help us to reflect and show your peace, your joy, your hope, and your love to the people around us, Lord. Help us to be truly different this week than the rest of the world. Father, we see how shallow our faith can be at times and how thin it can be. We plead with you to help us remove any barriers, to work through any doubts, and to help us as we deepen our love for you and strengthen our faithfulness today, this week, and throughout this month. Lord, you've been the refuge for our fathers and mothers through countless generations. Be our refuge today in every time and in every circumstance of need. Be our guide through all that could be dark or doubtful. Be our guard against anything that threatens the welfare of our spirit. Be our strength during any time of testing, Lord. Make our hearts leap with joy as we fully experience your peace. Father, we ask that our prayers of rededication this morning strengthen us for whatever may lie ahead. Let these prayers prepare us for whatever is on our path this week. Father, as we conclude our prayer time corporately together today, please don't allow our worship of you to conclude. Please don't allow us to move forward in our busyness with our task list, with our busy schedules, and somehow be forgetful of you. And Lord, help us to keep our eyes on you and our thoughts on you throughout the week ahead. Make our priority to be finding opportunities to share you more accurately with the people around us. You continually bless us beyond anything that we dare ask or even imagine. This morning and through this prayer, we rededicate all to you, Lord. All these things are yours to use at your will. All these are yours, our Christ. All these are yours, Holy Spirit. Save us from ourselves and turn our hearts and faces towards you and you alone. Let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be pleasing to you, our rock and our redeemer. We ask these things through Christ, our common Lord and Savior, and we close our prayer time together this beautiful morning by saying in unison, amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, guys. Blessings to each of you. Have a wonderful week. God bless you as well. And again, to everybody joining us on social media, thank you. Whether you join us by phone, by social media, whether you're watching this live or watching this later in the week, I hope it is a blessing to you as we rededicate everything to him. We know who our true boss is. Thank you so much for being with us this week. Next Monday morning, September 20th, we'll be right here again, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. Blessings and have a wonderful week reflecting him. Thank you.